a guru disciple relationship is so pure and so sacred much higher than a mother child relationship mother child relationship is one of the most sacred relationships of the world much higher is guru disciple because guru takes the disciple to supreme consciousness where they started from that's the thing a mother child relationship is nurturing strengthening growing or it helps growth but a guru disciple relationship is what he takes you to as himself see i can only deliver to you what i already am if i am not something i can't deliver it to you correct i can only give you what i have i can't give you something which i can't i don't have so this should be very clear first of all you should recognize where i stand then only you can receive that thing if you don't recognize see i everybody can anybody who has learned can teach you a meditation anybody can teach you yoga if you have learned yoga you can teach yoga you can teach meditation you can teach anything but transformation it takes material liberation liberation from the birth and death cycle it needs stability stable energy stable support that's a different ball game so i don't want you to jump into anything oh this is amazing this is a great master i i always object in our people writing enlightened master i said who, how do you know i am enlightened i could be lying you know i can lie right i can say i am enlightened i am great master i can lie and if you believe who is getting fooled not me isn't it we should not get into any of those traps it's don't worry about enlightenment but don't integrity something tangible consistency something tangible conviction tangible these things reflect in the world outside whether you like it or not we have we can only catch those things otherwise enlightenment you can't see you assume he is enlightened right you can't see enlightenment right you assume so you many times we are assuming but use your time use your faculties measure assess understand then connect measure assess understand then connect don't connect blindly and if you are with me long enough we have some work to do if you are just a visitor for some time i entertain you then you can go home and be entertained like krishna said right he dress he is dressing up because duryodhana cannot see him cannot understand him his stature so at least let him see the dress entertainment but if you really connect to the consciousness and you realize you and i are one then we have done a great job until we become one we have job to do we are not separate we cannot be separate that's the state that we should arrive and establish there is nothing to give nothing to take then the relationship is beautiful if that happens then we have the investment was worth it the investment was worth it investment is in you not in me please remember in this path your whole investment is in you you are investing in your own awareness you are investing in your own awareness you are finding yourself holding my hands if at all you are holding my hand but it is not to hold my hand not for a practice it is to find yourself once you found yourself you found everything when you find yourself you found everything there's nothing else in this world except you when you sleep there is no world for you when you wake up there is a world for you that relative is our world all our relationships are when we are awake imagine when 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 we die like there was a the film recently it's a habitual when somebody the people are crying then the, then the, they were trying to remove the dead body uh, no no don't take the body then they said okay you keep it here they said no 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 take the body <laughs> because this is the point here that people who love us do not love us when we are dead the love also changes when we are alive when we are relevant there is a particular love when we are not relevant that changes see this fragile is the world 
in this world you need to find the right connections that is why adi shankara said sat sangatve nissangatva through good company right company right frequency of friends you will learn to detach from all the bindings of life that's the main reason for satsang satsang means good company people who are of free, good frequency good frequency means they they need nothing from you they just love you for what for nothing not for something if you if somebody loves you for something that's not good company that's a transaction but if they they love you for nothing that's good company that helps you in detachment whether you have something or not something you're fine satsangatve nissangatva nissangatve nirmohatva when detachment takes place it leads to lack of desires you are not trying to conquer the world instead you are focusing inside to conquer your mind the mind which tells you to conquer the world is conquered then what happens the mind which tells you this is not enough this is not enough this is not enough that mind is conquered then mind keeps quiet then everything is enough do you know what i'm saying nirmohatva nirmohatve nischala tatva when mind is void of desires when mind has less desires nischala tatva mind becomes still you know desires which are activated like a wave of the ocean is coming and going and making a mind turbulent gone then what happens nischala tatva still mind nischala tatve jeevan mukti when the mind is still you are liberated very simple four lines the whole story good company leads to detachment detachment leads to desireless state desireless state leads to still mind still mind leads to liberation if you understood this you understood everything all the turbulence ends there you know that simple it is so don't be in a hurry to marry a guru 